Hello and welcome, I'm your code monkey, and it's finally time for the biggest sale of the year. Unity's Black Friday sale has just earned. That means the best sets of all, they're all on sale. You've got lots of awesome stuff at 50% off, and there are flash deals changing every single day up to 95% off. Here, let me tell you my highlights that I recommend for basically any project. Pretty much all of these assets I think will generally help you regardless of what game you're making, but also encourage you to check out the full sale link in the description. Since there's over 600 assets on sale, I can't possibly mention all of them. By the way, if you want a quick peek behind the scenes, right now as this video is being published, I'm currently at Unite in Barcelona. So if you're also at Unite and you see me walking around, come say hi. All right, so starting off my highlights with one that I've just found recently and become one of my new favorites. Here we have Hot Reload. So this one basically allows you to edit code without recompiling. So you can basically write code and modify the code exactly as the game is running, then go back into Unity and all the changes are applied constantly. So this can be really great for basically speeding up iteration. Like I said, I just started using this one just a few weeks ago and suddenly became one of my favorites. One comment that I see quite a lot in my videos is people complaining about compiling speed in Unity. And if that's you, then this asset helps by a massive amount. And then going from a recent asset that I picked up to one that I picked up when I first started using Unity, I bought this one about 10 years ago, the ASAR Pathfinding Project Pro. This one is absolutely excellent. If you have any kind of pathfinding in your game, then you absolutely need this asset. It makes pathfinding so insanely fast. You can have tons and tons of units navigating over very complex maps and everything works really flawlessly. So for any kind of pathfinding needs, I highly recommend this asset. This is also one that I've covered in my asset review playlist. So if you want to see more about this asset and how to get started using it, you can watch this video. And for my next highlight, I'm obviously very biased about this next one. It is my own CodeMonkey Tonkin asset. Like I said, obviously I'm biased, but I generally think this is generally useful. And I say that based on the fact that I've been building these utilities, these kinds of classes. I've been building these for the past 10 years as I've made lots of my Steam games. This is basically a collection of 40 tools and elements to help you make games better and faster. This includes a month of stuff, like an input window. It includes a draw mesh system, a nice key door system. It includes a grid system and a whole bunch more stuff. Like I said, I made these tools originally just for myself as I was building my games. So I have found them quite useful in production. So I'm sure you will find them very useful as well. And next one of my highlights is another great one if you're making 2D games. It is the excellent all-in-one sprite shader. So this one is really great. I really like this one. If you have 2D sprites of any kind, you can easily polish them and add all kinds of effects to this. Not only that, it is super easy to use. You really just toggle a bunch of checkboxes and you can add whatever effects you want. This is another one that I also made an asset review video on. So check it out if you want more detail on this excellent 2D asset. Next up is another great one that has been helpful to me many times. It is the Quantum Console. So this is basically a console that you can very easily place in your game and you can very easily add commands to be executed with that console. You really just add a simple attribute on top of any function you want. And then using that in-game console, you can easily call that command once at runtime. So for example, if you're playing your game and let's say you run out of ammo in some kind of scenario, you can really just go into console, call set ammo, set it to ammo to a certain amount, and really just continue testing. So it's a really great console, and importantly, it's a console that actually exists within the game itself, so it's not the Unity itself console, meaning that it also works in a build. So you can use this as some kind of dev console to include in your builds. So even if your game's already on Steam, you can use that on the final game to debug and find all kinds of issues. So yep, it's another really great tool to help you iterate much faster. This is another one that I've also reviewed previously. Then for an awesome visual one, here we have Volumetric Light 2. So this one over here, like the name implies, allows you to add volumetric lights to your games. In case you don't know what volumetric lights are, if you place a light by default, it won't actually have an actual physical shape. So those god rays, those things that you see, that actual shape, that won't be generated by a normal light. And this asset over here helps you add that. This is one of those things that just adding it to almost any game makes the game look much, much better. I mean, look at this scene with and without volumetric lights. The difference is pretty drastic. This is another one that is quite easy to set up. I've used this in a bunch of demos and really is super easy to use. Next up for another visual thing, you can add some really nice shaders. And for example, Quigley, this is a great one. This is a really nice anime-like shader. It makes it look cell painted and looks really cool. This is another one that you can customize in many different ways. You can easily add some really thick outlines or no outlines. You can add some overlays. The whole thing allows you to get some really unique looks directly with your meshes. For example, my own game, Think Guardians, I use that shader in order to make everything look very nice, very consistent. And personally, I really like the look of this. Personally, I'm always a big fan of nice, thick outlines, and I think like this, the game looks quite a bit better. Next highlight is really just, you can find all kinds of visuals. There's tons of stuff on sale on Black Friday. You can find visuals for pretty much any theme, any style you want. Like for example, all of the Senti assets, those are all discounted. Personally, I'm a big fan of their low quality style. So for example, you can find this military pack or tons of other visual assets. Then of course, visual doesn't just mean meshes, you can also find tons of VFX. So here's an example of an asset with a massive amount of unique VFX. Personally, I'm a big fan of this publisher, Piloto Studio. They've got some really excellent packs. This pack over here, this one literally has thousands of VFX from everything from simple to really insanely complex. So if you want to polish your games, whatever game you're working on, I'm sure you can find visual assets to help you. Another easy way to polish your visuals is adding a really nice custom skybox. And this one over here, this is basically the biggest skybox set. It's got over 200 skyboxes. All of them look really great. 
Changing the skybox is really one of the easiest things you can do to make your game look so much better. It's one tiny thing, but makes a massive difference. And of course, yes, the sword doesn't just have satellite stuff. You can also find some awesome realistic stuff. For example, here's an office and police station pack. It's all modular. Meaning you can take this and you can build pretty much anything. So if you're making some kind of police game, this would be great. Or if you really just dim the lights, this could be a great setting in some kind of horror game. And if you do have lots of visual assets, if so, then this next one is one of my recent favorites. Here we have the asset inventory. This one is absolutely excellent. I definitely consider this one to be a must have. This is basically a tool that helps you locate all of the assets that you already have. So if you already have a ton of asset packs and you're making a game and you need some kind of crystal, you can really just use this for search for crystals and you will find all of the packs. It searches within all of them. You can find everything that has crystals and then with a simple click, you can import just that one thing. So you don't need to import a giant massive pack that has tons of objects. You really just import just one single thing and that's it. So you have this asset really absolutely excellent. Like I said, absolutely a must have. If you're making games of any kind and if you have lots of assets, this makes that whole process of managing all of that makes that process so much easier. I've also recently made a review on this one because like I said, this is definitely one of the ones that I consider a must have. Next up, here we have an asset that basically helps you get much more out of every asset you already own. This is Colorize Pro and this one is a Texture Colored Palette Modifier. Meaning you can take some textures, like for example on low poly assets, this works especially great on low poly stuff. You can go into each individual mesh and modify each individual color. So if you have low poly with a handful of colors, you can modify those colors and end up with a scene that looks completely different. So this is another one that if you have a bunch of assets, you can basically multiply how you can use them by modifying the colors. You can make something look really dark and spooky or really nice and beautiful. Then one that is super useful, Umotion Pro. The reason why this one over here is so useful is because it basically lets you modify and edit humanoid animations directly inside Unity which is something a Unity does not support by default. But with this one, you can import the mesh, you can load up all the various bones, and you can really just click and modify those bones in any way. You can create new humanoid animations, or really just edit a bunch of things. So if you already use Blender, you can definitely use that in order to edit animations. But if you don't know how to use Blender, or if you rather just not go into a separate program, you can really just use this one. It is really awesome for editing animations, and of course it has tons more features. It's got inverse kinematics and all kinds of things. But me personally, I really just use it for the most simple things. Anytime I want to just slightly tweak some kind of animation, Really just use this asset, easily modify that animation, and that's it. Next up, we have one of the highest rated assets on SOAR, Dutwin Pro. This one is also one of the oldest assets. I'm pretty sure this one already exists back when I started using Unity, so I'm pretty sure this one has been around for over 10 years. It's a very simple tuning library. It is simple and works great. This is also one that is very, very cheap. So if you need a tuning library and you don't have one, then this one is really great. Like I said, it does just one thing, but it does that one thing very, very well. Or if you want a more complex tuning library, if so, you've got feel. Although this one is not just a tuning library, it is quite a bit more. Basically, it's an asset that helps you make your games feel awesome. This is definitely one of my favorite assets. With this, it makes the polish stage so much easier. You can polish all kinds of things very, very easily with a nice custom editor. The difference between before and after is quite a massive amount. As you probably already know, polishing is what separates good games from great games. It makes a massive difference, and this asset helps you polish your games much, much more easily. This is another one of my favorites, and I also did an asset review on it. Definitely check this out to see just how much this asset can help you. Next up, we have another excellent polish asset. We've got Text Animator. This is another really great one that does one thing and does that one thing very, very well. If your game has text of any kind, I can highly recommend this asset. It is so easy to use. You just add the component, add a simple tag, and that's it. All of a sudden, you've got some really nice text, really nicely animated. Adding some kind of animation to your text is going to make your game feel much more professional as opposed to just having everything static. This one has a mountain of effects that you can customize in many different ways. So you have very easy to use and very powerful. Then if you want to handle destruction, you've got Rayfire. So this one over here is very specific if you do need destruction in your game, but if you do, then this one is really great. Not only is it very adaptable, it actually works insanely fast. Adding destruction to your game is definitely one of those things that can make your game stand out quite a bit more. Most games, everything is really nice and solid, so if you add this to your games, it will make it look quite a bit more unique. Naturally, this is going to be slightly niche. Not every game makes sense to have some kind of destruction, but if your game does make sense, then this asset is really great. This is another one that I've also reviewed. It was really great to take a basic scene and make it feel very satisfying. Or if you want, you can obviously pick up the big classic Odin Inspector. Chances are most of you already have this because Odin Inspector has been around for many, many years. But if you don't have them, this is a great tool. It's basically a tool that helps you make tools. This is another one of those tools that is definitely validated in production. Many very popular games have used this tool. You can easily create editors with tons of attributes, really just add an attribute and everything looks really awesome. So especially if your game has lots of content, this helps you make tools that will help make that content much, much faster so you can build your game with a lot more stuff. This is another one that I've also covered in a nice asset review video. It definitely takes a while to learn, but if you take the time to learn it, you will have a really powerful tool. And like I said, the sale also has flash deals up to 90% off. These change every single day, but you can see what is coming on. For example, today, this asset right here is on a flash sale. So this one helps you add screen space reflections, which is something that Unity does not have by default. If you've got all kinds of shiny surfaces, then this can be really great making your game feel much more polished. 
Then tomorrow, you've got this one on the flash deal, the full screen editor. So this is a very simple tool, literally just takes your editor and makes it 100% full screen. It's a very simple thing, but if you want to have a little bit more space for editing, especially if you do quite a lot of level design, this can be quite useful. Then on Friday, for some more visuals, this pack over here, this is going to be on a flash deal. This is a giant pack with tons of stuff. So like I said, if you need visuals, you can definitely find lots of stuff, both on the regular sale and the flash deals. And Unity also has lots of game engine sort of tools. For example, the Corgi engine. This one is going to be on a flash deal in a few days. These can be great if you want to try out some kind of new idea and you want to get started very quickly. Instead of building everything from scratch, you can really just use one of these assets. Just build up a core prototype and validate your idea. So yeah, check the link in the description to see everything on sale. Some of these are ending quickly, and the sale will be adding more assets in the coming weeks. So definitely check back in next week as well. Alright, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.